backslidden church. Praise the name of the living God. I want you to understand that one of the reasons why we need revival, it is because a church is in a backslidden state. We are not where we used to be. Loho, you are backsliding. It is one of the spirits. A believer, lazima akubali kupigana nae mpaka dakika ya mwisho. Because the devil is not amused when you say you are born again. The day you gave your life to Jesus, even me I remember, the day I gave my life to Jesus, there are people who mocked me. Wali niambia tutaona. Huh? Tutaona kama utamaliza mwezi moja kabla hujakuja kwetu tena. Huh? There are people who mocked you when you gave your life to Christ. That was the devil who was telling you, I have seen so many leaving me, but they still came back. Nimeona wengi walio niacha, lakini niliwapokea tena. Na nikawafanya watumwa marambili. Praise the name of the living God. Roho ya backsliding. Ni roho ambayo razima mukristo awe intentional. Ya kwamba atapigana nae. Hata shetani ya lipo mjaribu yesu. The Bible says, he left him to wait for an opportune time. Haku muacha kabisa. Ali muacha akiwa anangojea. Wakati atapata nafasi tena. Praise the name of the living God. Waombezi wale huombea kanisa. Lazima waombe kama Epaphras. Who was laboring in prayer for the believers in the church to be established or to be deep rooted in their faith. Tunapona watu wanaokoka. Wapendwa, tukifurahia tu na tupige makofi na tusahau kuwaombea ya kwamba watakuwa na misizi katika ufalme huu tutaishi kuona watu wengi katika altar call lakini kanisa haijai. Bona tunapokea watu wengi katika altar call. Ha? Na kanisa zetu hazijai. Ni kwa sababu kadri ya vile wanavyokoka Vivyo hivyo, vivyo wengi wanavyo rudi nyuma. Na kama kanisa haliwezi kudisan, ya kwamba kuna vita na roo ya backsliding, tutaishi kufanya kazi kama, you know, inaseme kananga ukiperekwa kule hospitali kama madhale ama mahali ambapo watu ambao wako kichaa wanaperekwa, testi moja wanakupatia ni kukupatia doo ambayo inamwaga maji wanakuambia pereka hii maji kwa ile drum unabeba ile maji unapeleka by the time unafika kwa drum maji yote imekwisha wakiona umerudia mara ya pili na mara ya tatu hata kama ulikuwa unasema ni watu wanakuonea we sio wazimu daktari atajua uko na problem sio watu tu wanakuonea Unajua mtu akipeleka hospitali ya kwamba yako na kichwa baya watu anasemanga ni kuonewa naonewa. Mimi sina shida, sijiwa ananiuliza nini. Unaambiwa beba hii maji. Weka kwa ile do. Ukifika pale imemwagika unarudia mara ya pili, unarudia mara ya tatu. Daktari anajua we sio kuonewa, uko na problem. Na sisi kama tunafanya kazi kama hiyo ya kuvuna nafsi na tunazileta katika nyumba ya Bwana na tutafuti kuangalia Kwa nini tunafanya tuna, tuna mikutano ya krusedi? Kwa nini tunafanya kazi ya person to person? Na hawa watu atuwaoni. Tutakuwa hata sisi tuko na problem. And so today I want to commission you. You must start fighting the spirit of backsliding. First in your own life. And secondly in the church. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Na wacha ni kuambie. Roho ya backside shetani hakuna mtu anaogopa. Uwe wewe ni aposto, uwe wewe ni archbishop, uwe wewe ni brother. Praise the name of the living God. Kama alimleta chini Samson. Praise the name of the living God. Kupitia Delila. Mtu ambaye 
alikuwa amepakwa na Mungu kutoka kwa tumbo ya mama yake Praise the name of the living God. Shetani hawezi kukuogopa kwa sababu ya viwango vile umefika. Shetani hawezi kuniogopa kwa sababu huyu ni apostle sasa, huyu ni ngumu sana, ataendelea kukujaribu, ataendelea kuangalia weakness zako. Atakuangalia tamaa zako. Atakuangalia ni vitu gani unapenda hazilingani na mapenzi ya Mungu. Bibi inasema ya kwamba tamaa ikisha kuchukua mimba inazaa dhambi bana sifuwe sana haleluya that is why paul said in the book of philippians chapter 3 and verse 12 of not that i have already obtained all this or have already been made perfect but i press on to take hold of that for which uh, christ jesus took hold of me paul had said ya kwamba one thing i do i have not obtained everything that christ Jesus has gotten hold for me but one thing I do I press on praise the name of the living God huu muzigo unasikia roho wa Mungu anakuambia omba it is for you to be able to press on because the will of God is to move you from one glory to the other and from faith to faith until you reach to your divine destiny until you finish strong the race of salvation praise the name of the living God but the work of the enemy is to try and to hinder your progress and take you back God will never take back his people from where they are coming from but the devil will always oppose God's people so that they can desire like the children of Israel ili watamani marenge ya misri watamani kurudi nyuma bwana asifuwe sana nakataa maroho ya backsliding katika haya madhabahu nakataa kupoteza watu ambao wamekuja kwa Bwana Yesu akasema wale wote baba ulionipatia hakuna aliyepotea ila yule mwana wa kupotea tunakataa kupoteza watu tunakataa kupoteza mavuno ambayo tunayo yapokea lazima wale walio katika evangelism wawe na uombezi wa juu katika jina la Yesu lazima wale ambao the watch over the house of God waangalie ya kwamba hatupokei watu katika nyumba ya Bwana na baadaye tunawapoteza ama wanakaa katika nyumba ya Bwana but they are in a backslidden state that is why the bible says uh, ya kwamba wana wenye dhambi walio katika zayuni wanaomboleza wanasema tutakaa namna gani na moto urao kwa sababu kuna watu wanaamua kukaa zayuni, wanaamua kukaa katika nyumba ya Bwana, lakini hawajabadilika. Wengine wanarudi nyuma na waachi kanisa. Ah, seen it. Hata hapa kanisani unakuta ndugu amerudi nyuma, hata anachukua mpango wa kando na hataki kutoka kanisani. Amerudi nyuma. Lakini anajua Misri ni kubaya. Hataki kurudi kule nyuma kabisa. Lakini ako in a backsliding state in the church. That is the church of Ephesus. In the book of Revelation chapter 2 from verse 1 if we can be able to lead. The Bible says to the angel of the church in Ephesus right These are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven golden lampstands. The Bible says I know your deeds. Look at this. Ya kwamba hii ni kanisa liko na matendo. I know your deeds. You are hard work. That means you may be having hard work, but you are backslidden. You are perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked men. How? That you have tested those who claim to be apostles and are not and have found them false. You have persevered and have endured hardships for my name. Does this look like me? Praise the name of the living God. A person God is saying I know you are hard work. I know you are perseverance. I know you cannot tolerate wicked men and I have not grown weary. Praise the name of the living God. Verse 4. So, yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken your first love then the bible says in verse 5 remember 
the height from which you are fallen. That means you are fallen. That means there is a, back, a level of backsliding in your life. Repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your ramp stand from its place. This is how backsliding, a backslidden church looks like. Praise the name of the living God. A backslidden church may be having people who work hard. They have not grown wearily. They cannot tolerate wicked men. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. But God still comes to this church in Ephesus. And he says, there is something I'm holding against you. Where is your first love? The passion that you had. The zeal that you had. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. The commitment. I don't see it. Praise the name of the living God. I don't see that first love that you had. That is why I said in this kingdom, you can make 50 steps. But after making 50 steps, you lose 20. But you are still in the kingdom. When you lose these 20, that is when God comes to you and he says, look, the hate from which you are fallen from. You are only having 30 steps, but you had 50. Where are the 20? Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. That is why we are here telling God, uh, help us uh, to recover the territories uh, that we have lost uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, this call for discernment. Uh, someone must be discerning uh, that there are territories uh, that God had given unto me, but today I have lost uh, those territories. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, uh, Remember the hate from which you are falling from. Um, uh, repent uh, and do the things that you did at first. That means there are things that you are doing. But today you don't do them. Praise the name of the living God. That is how backsliding comes. By losing your prayer life. By losing your devotion. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. By losing your commitment in service. By losing your discipline in giving. God comes and says, do the things that you did at first. Brethren, the church can be in a backsliding state, but people are still working hard. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. When you look at us, we are still there. But the passion is not there. The zeal is not there. Praise the name of the living God. That means you have something, but there is also something that you have lost. So God is not just looking at what you have. He is saying uh, there is something that you have lost. As much as there is something, I can see what you are holding on to. But I am also concerned of that which uh, you have lost. God is concerned when you lose something, when the church lose grounds that God had given unto us, either individually or the corporate church. As we pray for revival, let us fight the spirit of backsliding. Because the church today is in a backslidden state. We are not where we ought to be or we used to be. We are not where our fathers of faith, the first church was. Today, as much as there are so many people who are in the church, but they are in a backslidden state, the first love, the things they used to do, praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. They are not uh, there anymore. 
May God give you the grace uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, can somebody lift your hand uh, and tell God, uh, I overcome uh, the spirit of backsliding, uh, not by might nor by power, but by your spirit uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, you don't have to wait uh, when you are in Egypt uh, for you to fight this spirit. Uh, this is a spirit that you must continue to fight daily as you place on, uh, as you continue to make progress. Uh, this is a spirit uh, that takes you back uh, once step at a time uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, you must tell the spirit uh, of backsliding uh, you have no place uh, in my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I am not going uh, to sit in the ground uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, the spirit of backsliding uh, come out of the altar. Come out of the ministers of the gospel. Uh, come out of the worship team uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, many are serving the Lord but in a backslidden state, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, many are serving the Lord, uh, but they have lost ground, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, the ground of holiness, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, they have lost ground, uh, the ground of prayer, they are passion, uh, they are love, uh, they are zeal, uh, it's not there anymore, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, but church, uh, as we pray for revival, we must know what exactly we are fighting with her. Uh, we are fighting her uh, with a spirit, uh, with a strong order called uh, the spirit uh, of backsliding her uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh. Reka maganda bashanda, reka maganda rima, reka maganda rima, reka maganda bashanda, reka maganda rima zeria. Have mercy, my king. In the name of Jesus, let me share with you very quickly in this service three keys that can help you to overcome backsliding, three keys that can help you to receive the grace of restoration. Praise the name of the living God. If you go back to the book of um, Revelation chapter 2 and verse 5, we see one of the keys there. The Bible says, remember the height uh, from which uh, you are fallen from. The Bible says, leap repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your ramstand from its place. One of the master's keys in this kingdom is a key of repentance. Jesus said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repentance is one of the master keys in this kingdom. You can use the key of repentance when you want to receive Christ and receive salvation. But it's the same key you can use to break curses, even in your family, as you bring repentance before the Lord. It is a principle of progress in your life as a believer that you may continue making progress in every area of your life. So remember... If you read at verse 3, the Bible says, I know your deeds, your hard work, and your perseverance. You may think that people who work hard in the kingdom and they have persevered a lot, they don't need to repent. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked men. No compromise. That you have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not, and I have found them false. No compromise. You have persevered. You have endured hardship for my name. I, I want you to see the person who is being told to repent. And somebody who has persevered and have endured hardship and have not even grown weary. But God is still saying, repent. Because repentance is a master key in this kingdom. Praise the name of the living God. Not just for those who need salvation, but also for those who need to continue making progress and even to recover the lost territories in your life. Praise the name of the living God. So as you desire to recover any lost territory in your life, don't just go before God as if now you, 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 are a, you have a bossy attitude, whereby because uh, I, you, know, you know, Lord, I'm committed, I work hard, I have not grown weary, I come to Asha every day in the church. Don't have that kind of an attitude. Go on your knees 
and tell God, as much as I have been doing all this, I need your forgiveness because there are territories that you gave to me, but I have lost them. I see the marks of backsliding in my life, and I plead for your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. We need to repent. It doesn't matter. You could be a bishop, an apostle. You are doing hard work. You have endured hardship in the kingdom. But it doesn't matter when it comes to backsliding. You need to tell God, I plead for your mercy. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 18, uh, the Bible says, uh, Thus says the Lord, uh, Behold, uh, I'll bring back uh, the captivity of Jacob's tent uh, and have mercy on his dwelling uh, places. Uh, the city shall be built uh, upon its own mound, uh, and the palace uh, shall remain uh, according to its own plan. The key to restoration is mercy. We see mercy here. Praise the name of the living God. So you need to go further than repentance. For me to recover the lost territories in my life, I plead for mercy. Somebody shout, mercy, Lord. Mercy upon my life. Uh, mercy upon the church. Uh, we have lost many territories. Uh, we are in a state of backsliding. Uh, where are the gifts of the Holy Spirit? Uh, oh, my God. Uh, many are not even filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, we are in a backsliding church. Uh, Rekha Maganda. But we can tell, oh, God. Uh, mercy, Lord. Uh, we can cry to God. Uh, like Habakkuk. Uh, and tell God. Uh, Oh Lord, I have heard of your fame and I stand in awe and in the midst of the years revive your works, O oh God, and in love have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, for mercy triumphs over judgment, mercy overrides what you deserve, even when you deserve judgment, mercy can override in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, uh, that which you deserve uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, and my Bible tells me that God uh, is rich in mercy, is rich in mercy, is rich in mercy. I seek for mercy, Lord, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, in my backsliding, uh, because of the territories I have lost, uh, because of the territories we have lost, uh, even as the body of Christ, uh, the church in my generation uh, is backslidden. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we have services uh, that are full of rituals. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, without the presence of God. Uh May God raise uh, men and women uh, with the heart of David. Uh, the Bible says uh, when David uh, became the king, uh, he told uh, God, uh, I will not enter into the palace, into my house, uh, and not enter, sleep on my bed. Uh, I will not give sleep uh, to my eyelids uh, until I find uh, a praise uh, for the Most High God. Uh, David uh, called upon the whole Israel uh, and told them, uh, we must go and bring back uh, the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, and the Bible says uh, the Ark of the Covenant uh, was neglected uh, in the time of Saul. Uh, what have we neglected uh, in our time? Uh, may God raise a uh, David uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, who is going to say, we have neglected your glory. We have neglected uh, the gifts of the Holy Spirit uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, we have neglected uh, the miracle working power of God. Uh, the grace to save her uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, the Bible says uh, that my God uh, is able to save completely them uh, that come to him uh, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, God uh, is able to save completely in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Isaiah 42 verse 22. Reka Maganda. We see the third key there. Isaiah 42. The Bible says, uh, but this is a people robed uh, and plundered. All of them are snared in holes, uh, and they are hidden uh, in prison houses. Uh. They are for prey, 
and none delivers for plunder. No one says restore. The third key is speaking the word of restoration. The Bible says you shall declare a thing uh, and it shall come to pass. Uh, oh my God, uh, sometimes you need someone uh, who has spiritual authority to declare a word of restoration of your life. Uh, that is why the Bible says uh, that these people have been lobbed. Uh, how a word to a maybewa, what may be wa, the power, what may be wa muito wow, what may be wa nafasi zao. Oh my God. Uh, Oh my God, they have been plundered. Reka baganda bashanda. Wamenyanganyo ulithi wao. Oh my God. Bibi nasema ya kwamba. Wamewekwa katika mashimo. Wamefichwa katika magereza. Wamekua mawindo. Hesha kama ganda. Lakini ya pana asema erejesha. Nasimama na mamlaka. Buwana amenipatia. Nasema restore. Restore. I command the thief uh, who has stolen from you. The thief cometh not uh, but to steal, uh, to kill, uh, and to destroy. But the Son of God came uh, that you may have life uh, and have it in abundance. Uh, the Bible says if a thief steals, uh, he should repay seven times. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, utaripo na faida, utaripo na interest, uh, chochote aduya me. I command restoration. Somebody declare restoration of whatever the enemy has stolen in your life, in your family, in your calling, in your mandate, in your ministry. We declare restoration in the body of Christ. Reka maganda, reka maganda ma. Neema alio chukua, the power alizo chukua. Reka maganda, kibali. Aka tupatia rejection. Reka maganda. Razima rejeshe. Reka maganda. Reka maganda rima. Reka maganda. Aka iba na fasizetu. Aka patia wengine. I cancel every demonic exchange. Na fasi yako. Haita chukuliwa na mwingine. Peri ya baganda. In the spirit liyama. By the blood of Jesus. I cancel every demonic exchange. In the name of Jesus. Hauta nyanganywa. Na fasi. Fasi yako, haita chukuliwa na mwingine. Mapepo, ambayo upigana, ya ondoe watu. Katika na fasi zao, ninatangaza, muanguko wake. Hey! Kela baganda ba shanda ba. Kela baganda ba shanda ba. Kela baganda ba shanda. Kela baganda ba shanda baganda. Reka baganda bashanda ba. Reka baganda bashanda ba. Reka baganda bashanda baganda. Reka baganda bashanda. Reka maganda adui zangu. Musini chekere. Ata mukiona ni meanguka. Oh my God. Buana tani nua tena. Oh my God. Ambia madui wasi cheke. Ata kama umeanguka. Oh my God, Buana Takuinua, Reka Baganda Bashanda. May God restore the source of your strength in the name of Jesus. The source of your strength in your prayer life, in your giving, in your work of holiness, in your commitment, in your zeal, in your passion. Let there be restoration in the name of Jesus. May God restore the source of your strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Reka Maganda Bashanda. Reka Maganda Bashanda. Watch ya tutangaze vita. Tutangaze vita. Na maroya backsliding. Oh my God. Hatutaleta mavuno. Reka Maganda. Na eshetani. Anawaondoa. Reka Maganda Bashanda. Reka Baganda Rimahanda. Reka baganda mazanda. Reka maganda tumepoteza watumishi wakutosha. Reka maganda mazanda. Hiro ya backsliding razima tupigane nae. Na tuiambie hatutapoteza wengine. Hatutapoteza wengine. Hatutapoteza wengine. Tumepoteza worship ministers. Gospel singers. Wakutosha 
lazima tutangaze hatutapoteza wengine reka maganda mazanda tumepoteza oh my god haspanza katika nyumba ya bwana wakarudia ulevi lazima tutangaze hatutapoteza wengine reka maganda tumepoteza vijana walipobarikiwa my god lazima tutangaze hatutapoteza wengine reka maganda mashanda reka baganda rima reka maganda bashanda reka baganda rima handa may you rise back to the hater where you were in the beginning those who had fallen their passion their zeal their commitment i release the restoration i release the restoration i release the restoration in the mighty name of jesus receive the grace of restoration